Greetings, you are listening to live broadcast from Radio Biafra USA. We are coming to you through Radio Biafra London and IPOB Community Radio, directed by our leader, Mazi Namdekano. My name is Mazi Alozi. Today is May the 26th, 2021. Let's um, get on with our programs today and the news. And uh, you remember our Ngwa people, Ngwa program will be on today. Be on today. And um, it's a very nice program. Um, I enjoy it. We'll be getting some more people uh, come and join us on the program because it's, uh, it's very entertaining. It's very entertaining. You see, when you look at the culture we have, you see our people, you see those that make, make up the community, then you start uh, appreciating what we have. Before we continue, uh, let me give you a take uh, as to what we are dealing with. We from the Biafra land, we have too many, we created too many problems for ourselves. Um, I'm not in the group of um, lawmakers uh, based on called culture and tradition. But with the little I know, at least I can tell you that um, we have created um, a lot of problems for ourselves. We must solve that problem immediately. If you look at uh, what is happening to Biafra land, we have too many, too many organizations. Worthless organizations. And uh, they are more of uh, social groups. And from their social formation, they want to be uh, lawmakers of the land. They want to be the um, orators. Uh, they want to be the um, worldwide, the terminology always used. And uh, they need to be stopped, they need to be banned, fought with. Um, it's not that it's banning, it is a um, complete um, structure, no. At the moment, these organizations are creating diversions. They should come together as one. You, you understand what I'm saying? Um, you have Igbo group, um, you have a Hanese, uh, you have Igbo uh, Bibo, uh, uh, you have a Quenche, uh, you have a Okatobie, um, you have for what? Let's say uh, initially there is a purpose for that, but based on the situation we are facing, based on the problems that we have, we have no need for these uh, social groups. They should suspend their activities and come together. Then, when we get what we want, they can go back to their old self. We are the same people. We know they are social groups. But of what benefit are they to the situation we are facing? The reason I brought this up is that um, um, I was going through my final um, scroll and um, update. I saw where Ohanese and Dibo and Isiguzo was talking about um, what IPOB should and what IPOB shouldn't do. And I was asking myself, what what are these people afraid of? Uh, there are programs 
helping what we are doing or what uh, you have been afraid so afraid that they are coming into your homes to murder you so don't carry the flag don't do this don't do that but you are existing uh, uh, those people they are killing carrying flags now you see where I'm coming from uh, these people they invade their homes um, and kidnap them and kill them are they carrying flags no they are their friends they are their friends as long as you are from the eastern region whether you're carrying flags or not you have been marked for death uh, before we get into that uh, you saw when uh, katronia lang came to uh, ibere to visit uh, ojo zokalo and we were wondering and you know whenever this lady goes wherever she goes is death that follows wherever katronia lang goes it is death that follows uh, she visited uh, Ojuz or Carlo and uh, we were wondering you yourself can you ever wonder why Katronia Lang will visit Ojuz or Carlo well we know why and we will tell you why just like as uh, she visited uh, other people Tinubu, and then the mayhem happened that's what you're expecting in bende Uzakole, Ibere, in a few days time her visit was to ensure to give permission to help the army and the police invade homes in Uzakole. In bended, all bended divisions. That was their agreement. The invasion was to look for arms, people that have arms, and then burn homes. This is for bended people, Ibere and Ozakole, and down. And um, you saw the uh, the test run in Olokuru, Amakama. You saw it a few days ago. That was their test run. And uh, the the whole thing is that um, when they invade homes looking for arms and ammunition, they at the same time burn your homes. Don't say you were not warned. In a few days' time, it will happen. This was why Katronia Lang visited Ojo Zakalo, and he approved it. What is Ojo Zakalo's party, APC? Why are these people hell-bent on killing us? It is us, it is we that will resent that venture. We will not accept it. Uh, let me give you a take on what we're saying. If you look at the, at the north, they burnt the police station. Nobody was shot at. I mean, the news did not even carry it. The, um, uh, what is that, the uh, news channel? The channel news did not carry it. No news carried it. No news. None reported the burning, the disturbance there. But if it were to be in uh, Biafra land, it's the first thing the BBC bus service will come to tell you. It is the first thing that, um, Channel television will tell you. It is the first thing I will tell you. Oh, uh, Ibo, uh, one the police station, uh, killing, uh, IPOB, uh, unknown gunmen. Uh, you, you see, they have 
dehumanized you. They have demonized you. And it is you that will cancel that the, the perception they have, the agenda they have, all those things they are doing to degrade you, all those activities they are undertaking uh, to label you. And it has sunk in very well with our people. Uh, do you know that um, as we speak, uh, what bothers me is that uh, you have um, some people listening to the news. They can't tell you they're not listening to the news because they are. But in the back of their mind, they have been beaten down. They have been demoralized to the point that they actually believe they actually believe that um, IPOB is proscribed. They, be, they believe it. They wholeheartedly believe it. And they're not asking themselves why. And they cannot tell you. Oh, they say, yeah, they're proscribed. Who proscribed them? Who proscribed them? The terrorist government. Well, we look at um, our situation. Uh, when they address some of these people watching what is taking place, uh, they'll say, oh, uh, these are the unknown gunmen. These are their friends. Then what are you? You are a one Nigerianist and they are killing you. They're killing you. you. Why are they killing you? Why are they killing you? They are killing you because um, your people sold out. Look at Oju Zokalu sitting majestically, feeling he has the authority to kill you, an Iberian man, you, an Iberian woman, you, Iberian young man, just to satisfy the wants of a British lady, Katrina Lang. And these are the activities, the same activities the uh, social cultural groups are carrying out. They cannot stand firm. They cannot come together and say, this is what befalls our people. How can we solve it? Just like the governors from the south, each going in a different direction. Until recent, they stood in one voice to voice, at least to voice something. Um, implementing is a different story. But at least they stood to voice out something. This is what we are talking about. When I say they should come together, that means there are things they are not doing. There are things they are supposed to do they are not doing. They are the only ones that can come, make a phone call. This organization, come on. Let's do this. Yes, that is the program. That's my program. I love that program. Uh, Kelechi, uh, you thought I couldn't dance that tongue dance, eh? I surprised you. <laughs> I surprised you. Um, that's a very good uh, traditional music, and I was uh, just taking it step by step. Uh, that's the way I'm raised. Madiela. Um, just as we started, uh, for all those that um, forgot the issue, I made a point. Uh, really, not just one, two. The first one was the presence of um, Katronia Lang uh, with uh, Oji Zokalo. All of you were aware of uh, her visit to Oji Zokalo. The purpose of that visit was to ensure the decimation of um, people of Bende, 
Zakole, Iberi, and around. Uh, their purpose is to search your homes for weapons and then burn the houses. That was the instruction uh, that Katronia Lang brought to Oju Zokalo. And you will see that um, happening in a few days. Uh, even if you have the weapons, um, I'm not sure it's going to be in your house or in your houses. Uh, why are they doing that? Just to ensure that you are disarmed so that they can do some numbers on you. Why do they want to re reduce your population? Are they not very uh, ashamed that despite the atrocious and genocidal acts they had on us in the 70s, 60s and 70s and subsequent uh, years uh, um, coming, what they did? Uh, they uh, uh, just with impunity solicited the assistance of your son, APC member, Ojo Zokalo, to promote atrocious act on you. Uh, who, who are you going to blame? You stay and watch. Uh, most of you know the right thing to do, but you don't want to do it. Keep on being afraid. You only die but once. You don't get freedom free. You pay for it with your blood, with your sweat. Uh, we are somewhere where people sweated. We are somewhere where people shed their blood uh, to be free. And that is a task uh, we must accomplish. If, the, uh, if your enemies are trying to accomplish the task of eliminating you, your task to accomplish is to see that you survive. Uh, just because they want you dead doesn't mean that you're going to die. And the second issue I raise is the presence of so many evil organizations. What are their agendas? What do they have in mind? What is their contribution towards the attainment of freedom. I think time has come for them to have a common purpose. A common purpose. Do away with these groups at the moment. I did not say don't have your group. All of you should come together and have a common purpose. Because when you have all these groups and you don't exist, your group is as well as useless, regardless of the name attached to it. If the group represents uh, Ungwa village and Ungwa doesn't exist, of what use is your group? If the group um, um, represents Obu and Obu is uh, Fulani Obu, your, your, your group is just rubbish. If your group is Olokro progressive and Olokro doesn't exist, where is the progress? Uh, the progressiveness is zero. If your group is uh, Igbo general and the Igbo doesn't exist, where does the general apply and which Igbo? I gave you a hint about uh, having a um, uh, Igbo village in Virginia and other uh, people go there to go and see. Is that what you have left? A history, a memory of what it used to be. Maybe it's an omen that uh, Igbos used to be in existence and now they are gone, just like the cities. And uh, some people will say that will not happen. And it is happening and we are witnessing it. Therefore, these two things uh, we must uh, pay attention to. Uh, you can stay on your radio and rumble. You can stay in your bedroom and talk rubbish. You can stay on the air and talk rubbish. Uh, you can come on international company and talk rubbish. You can say what you want to say. At the end of the day, you are not free. You don't. You, you don't have your freedom. Nobody will give it to you, but you will get it on your own. I can understand how somebody is benefiting from you, from you, and then we let go. And not when that person realizes that you're stupid, that you have no 
uh, value attached to your resources, or even to your existence, or even to your existence as a race. Yeah, and I wonder what uh, you will be expecting. The call number is plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. Tomorrow, now waiting, they happen. Tomorrow, now waiting, they happen. We will be there, um, and most of these topics we will um, revisit, and then uh, say it where people can understand it. Uh, that's the way we operate. Radio Biafra USA plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. They come, they destroy, they come, they kidnap. They come, they accuse you. Uh, you see the uh, the one they killed in um, Hold on, let me get this call. The caller, your name, and where you calling from? Caller, your name, and where you calling from? Oh yes, Mas, good morning. Good morning. My name is Mazi, my man to go near Jacob. I am calling from United States of America. I reside here in Washington, DC. But I am from Amibo. Amibo in Olo. Amibo home of the Tiger. And Amibo home of the Indigo for Pueblo. Mazi, thank you, you know, for all the things that you do for Biafra. I thank God Almighty for Mazi Nam the Kano. Yes, Mazi, I can understand what you say, but I want to use this opportunity to talk to the youth, Biafra youth, to talk to the or do the white youth, the youth from the middle belt, the youth that find themselves, the indigenous, I mean in Nigeria, I, I want to talk to all of them, because it is their destiny that we are playing with now. This is their destiny, this is their life. Honestly, they are not going to see anything better than this, believe me, in the name of this one Nigeria, they cannot. Let me give them an example again, let me just take them back so that they will know how Nigeria them to be. Nigeria used to be Royal Niger Company. That is how British people came to the West Africa. They came in the name of Royal Niger Company. In the 60s, when they start looking for independence, when Isaac Iwe and Awolowo were present for independence, then the British people, they didn't want to give it, but they were forced to give it. So now when they were leaving, then what they did was, then the foreigners, another foreigner they're going to hand over is the Fulanis. Remember, Fulanis has never been a part of my, you know, that contraction. Fulanis are the migrants, the people that are going from one place to another. They are found in the West Africa. They are not even any indigenous. You can see that, okay, this is their ancestral land in that place called Nigeria. So the British people, what did they do? They handed over to the Fulanis. All right. So, in order for them just to make sure that the Fulanis get the whole of Nigeria, then they initiated the war. That is the war they call the Biafran War. Ujuku tried by all means to avoid this war. But what happened, the British people, then they pushed Gawan to start the war. And what happened is now, who are the people that sponsored the war? It is the British people. Who are the people that all the things that they did is the British people, they just sponsored the war, they put all the money, they gave every money from Russia and everything so that they can sponsor this war because of the oil they found in our place. So now, after the war, what happened? They have to collect the money because it is, it is not cheap. They have to collect the money they use in sponsoring that war. And uh, this is the money that uh, Gowan signed in, the contract he signed with them. Up to today, British people, they are, that's the reason why you see Nigeria cannot get light. That's the reason why Nigeria cannot give an account of the oil. So the people that they gave this thing to handle, that is the collector, the agents, the agency that collects this bill from them, for them, that is the British people, I mean the Europeans, they, that is uh, the ginger weed full of news. That are the people that are managing it on their behalf, they are the, the collector, that is the debt collector, the oil is the, play, the one they are using to pay all this debt. All the money they use in financing the war, this is the reason why Nigeria is still the same way it is today. And Nigeria will never change because the contract they signed was infinito. 
the contract is infinite. There is no way. They're going to be collecting the money. They're going to be making the oil. So there is no way that you can develop in your life again. If you're thinking that you're going to see anything better, you better think twice. The only solution, the only solution is the destruction and the solution of Nigeria. And this is what Nam Dekano is doing. You are so lucky you have somebody like Nam Dekano. Because they have bribed every, everybody they can be able to bribe. Even the Serena Sokoto, who is the head of the tradition, the tradition, that is the Serena Sokoto, he is the head of the, of the religion. Serena Sokoto, they, they, this is they are the, the, you know, the security, they are in charge of the security. They are in charge of the finance, the central bank is the, controlled by the finance. They are in charge of the oil, the money making oil that you're talking about, that is, the oil that you see you know, in Bayesa or whatever, it is them, the, the, the Fulanis. So every aspect of your life is controlled by Fulanis because they are the one that was handed over. That is the affair of Nigeria. So Britain and then all the European countries are still collecting the money. This is the reason why you don't have a meter to measure how much oil that is produced from your land. The oil, if you go to the south, uh, 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 is it, uh, um, if you go to Iran or Iraq or, or Saudi Arabia, then you know you will see that the oil they produce. Then there is a meter to know how much oil that is drop. If there is any leak, then you can even find, uh, know about it. But for Nigeria, there is nothing. Everybody they put, you don't know how much money they are getting. You don't have, know how much oil they are, you know, they are making. So the issue there is that stand up, let us do this. We are fighting for your own because all these people who are managing Nigeria, their life, they are more than 60 years old. They don't have anything to live for. So the you, you for your life, you have to join in and the kind of, and you have to join for this agitation. So this is the reason why we are calling you. If you are here in America, and if you are anywhere, you are in diaspora, and then you are still staying there and then doing your business and thinking that it doesn't concern you, believe me, you are fooling yourself. Because you are not foolish. You make your money, you put it in your pockets. I'm telling you, we are going to come after you. Because this is something that all of us are doing. We are doing for our generation. So if you have changed your mind that you want to contribute money so that we can do this thing and do it for you know, once and for all, for our children, then if you want to do this, I'm urging you to go to our website. And that our website is www.ipodinusa.org slash donet www.ipodinusa.org slash donet Man, thank you. God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you very much. And uh, that's where we go. Call her your name and where are you calling from? Call her your name and where are you calling from? My name is Festus. I'm calling from. Welcome, Festus. Go ahead. Don't worry about where you. Just go ahead. I'm calling from. Uh, I'm calling from Ogawa. Uh, Don't worry about. Go ahead. Don't worry. Ogawa is in the Um, I want to thank you for what you are doing. I want to thank our director for what he did. Actually, the the God of God you keep you and prosper you. In Jesus' name. Amen? Yes, we are listening. Uh, okay, please, um, I want to think that what is happening now in the Africa is simply a ploy to exterminate the evils. I want you to understand that the burning of a uh, politician, the burning of a uh, government meeting are orchestrated by the Sudan in order to gain an excuse to attack evils. To have a national city that has to be this. And we are not unaware of what they are doing. And I am saying that the Almighty God will not allow them to have their way. Somebody somewhere will teach us and come to our aid. Now, for this government, what they really mean is to exterminate this. Way. That is in total land. Every arsenal, every instrument, every tool is already in their hands now. So we are just at their mercy. We are just at their mercy. So uh, I don't know what we are going to do other than to uh, what uh, Marvin and Mekano have done by actually coming out to speak. Our friends that are in the ministry also, we are also not taking it lightly. We are trying to do everything we can in order, not, in order to 
see that our relations create some bonds. We will not stand up and tell us that we were you, somebody like you, we used to talk. We were you when these things were happening and you didn't lend your head or your hand. I read the Bible, I know Psalm 149, verse number 6. It says, Praise ye the Lord, and uh, with a, a lot uh, of voice of praising, and also with a two edged sword in your hand. So God is not ignorant that we should stand up. And uh, while we are also praying to God, we should also defend ourselves. Thank you very much. God bless the Federal Republic of Biafra. God, God bless you. everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Call her your name and where you calling from. Call her your name and where you calling from. Well, the line dropped. Um, we'll wait for it to come on, come on again. Let us not be uh, fooling ourselves. Uh, People must uh, learn to uh, accept what uh, is given to them. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Uh, hello, um, uh, my brother, uh, uh, good afternoon from here. Go ahead, go uh, ahead. My name is uh, Brahma. Yeah. I'm coming from my location, I am um, the Atiyari of the media uh, in Finland. I uh, have an important announcement uh, to make. Um, the, uh, we, the IPOB of Finland, uh, will be having our business and our heroes uh, days here in Finland on Saturday. And we invite all uh, their clients and friends of their friends. We all invite them to join us to mourn the sacrifice that these uh, gallant men and women, even children and mothers, pay for us to live. And uh, we want to use the opportunity again to ask everybody, whatever work, we all work, in order to take care of our people and our society. Um, Whatever, but to remember that the key is very, very important for us to respect the response of our lives. So we urge everyone to come and stand to honor them. And uh, we welcome also the newcomer, we welcome everyone who wants to donate to. So, Yes, sir. And I want to give you the number in case you want to make the motion different or if there's something important you want to ask. Um, I want to give you our coordinator name first. Uh, our coordinator in Finland, the whole of Finland, is known in uh, Mars. So this is his number when we want to make some some information or uh, contacting us for something that is very important that we have a uh, 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 to be removed at this particular critical time. This number is 040 097367. I repeat again 040-097367. The venue in which we uh, have this uh, is a servant of one hour. May our people go to the back of the venue. I want to give you the address. 
di dunia kita Signal, signal of WhatsApp. Which one is it? I can't do information about this. Uh, you uh, this uh, I mean, I'm not that you left your contact. I'm very happy. I can't do information of uh, this thing. Uh, you your WhatsApp. Okay. It's not going to have WhatsApp. You have to think about that. That's why I said, I'm going to go there. All right. Okay, Ndewe. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are heading towards the end of the broadcast. Um, tomorrow, now what will happen um, that you can't wait to join. And um, on on Saturday, our women will be on the program again. On Sunday, now what will happen again? And um, we we are heading up. Our job is to inform you about um, what is happening. Uh, Call out your name and where you calling from. <laughs> Hello. Yes, welcome. Go ahead. Good morning, my brother. Good morning. Hello, good morning. I'm fine, thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Chukwe Manuel. I'm a native of Isaiah Boy State, Newfoundland. I greet my leader, our leader, Martin and the Kano, for a time like this. The only man, the only man, the only man that is saying the truth and the honest. And the evil group of people in Nigeria is doing everything to suppress the truth. Let me tell the Nigerians, if you are one of the several tours in Igbo land or in Biafra general, let me tell you, that money you collected to remain slave, your name is sorry. Before, because a time will come when you will cry. The Fulani will not hear you are crying and they will kill you. The Fulani are not forgetting or forgotten. They have one mind. They say one thing, 
and they do it. That's what I need for you. All of you, Rogers or Carlo, all of you, yes, or me, okay? all of you, Desmond Mahe, all of you, Oza Demba, all of you, all the criminals who feel that they have reached the stage of money, Fulani means you as a slave, number one slave. No, no. They know that the IPOB is the only group that is saying the truth. And if they are the only people they are there that is fighting them. So if you feel that money is important for you, then you are freedom. Fine and good. But let me tell you. Money is important for you. You know, you can, you can get money from here to, to America. It does not mean anything. One day you will die, and this money will disappear. You will not come back and know where the money is all about. I'm sorry for Nigeria people who are talking Nigeria. If you go to the West, it's the same. The East, it's the same. This group of idiots. You have not seen people who died. Where is about about Kiare? All the money they have you have sold. Where is the money today? Can you take a reason? Can you take a reason? Because when you take a reason, you will understand that Nigeria is hell fire already. Nigeria has left Sodom. Nigeria is worse than Sodom. Nigeria is heading to Addis. And somebody who says he's a man of God is there praying for Nigeria. That tells you everything. But all those people that are claiming that they are man of God in Nigeria are man of Satan. All of them who are praying for Nigeria for peace for Nigeria are men of Satan. They are not men of God. How do you understand this? How are these those people who are going to the church and paying them tithe and offering will remember this? Because you can stay in the church and become a slave. And you die as a slave. Your children will remain a slave in the church. Pay their money to the criminals called the man of God in Nigeria. If there's man of God in Nigeria, why Nigeria is like that? Because in Nigeria, if there is a man of God in Nigeria, Nigeria will be like other country of the whole world. They are confusing you to pray for for Nigeria to move forward. Why Nigeria is going backward every day? And I don't know how to say it without number. That Nigeria, to call Nigeria animal is just to give him to to, to, just to, you know, to promote Nigeria. Nigeria is worth better than animal. There's no good thing in Nigeria. But they are still praying for Nigeria. All of you who are praying for Nigeria, when you die, you will go to hell fire. And all the people that are following you will be sent going to hell fire. All these men of God, who are, who are going with aircraft, who are going with a, a, a special jet. How many jets that Jesus has when he's on earth? How many? Did Jesus pro, uh, promote tithe or, or, uh, or tithe? Do you hear it from him? Because everything goes from Jesus, who preach the word of God without any uh, any 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 rubbish they are pay, uh, they, they are they are teaching people in Nigeria. I think a time will come. Let me stop here today. I greet my leader. I greet our leader. I greet him and the colonel. This man, if you have not known him, known him now, is sent by God to liberate our people, to liberate the whole Nigeria, the whole Nigeria. Even the whole Africa.
I think it's time we come. The whole Africa will understand. Thank you, Chukwu. To back to make sure Thank you, Nigeria will be destroyed because Nigeria is a cancer to Africa. British are using Niger using using uh, Fulanese in Nigeria to make sure all the whole Africa will remain slave forever. Thank you. Without destroying Nigeria, Africa can never never move forward. Nigeria is the problem of Africa, and it will remain so. Thank you very much, Mazalogo, for all the effort of we did. God will be your strength. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> the call number is plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. Live broadcast from Radio Biafra USA. Our leader has said all he needs to say. He keeps drawing our attention to activities of these Fulani men, the terrorists in the army uniform. We know who they are. We know they are Boko Haram. How do we know? Because they announced it. They gave them uniform. They reintegrated them into the army and the police. And they thought they were fooling us. Uh, the chicken has come to roost. Now they are doing what they do best. Vandalize, kill, and destroy. Burning. Uh, people learn a behavior. Uh, when you see the handwork of an artist, you can say who, do, who made the portrait. You can listen to the sound of the music, you can, you can tell the artist. They all have their, their trade, their mark. You don't have to wait. They loot. They born, they mother. Let's ask ourselves a question. Where will this lady travel all the way from London to Abuja to stay to dictate to you who is to live and who is to die? Does it mean um, all these people we have in the Senate and in the in the state uh, of House of Assembly, uh, in the House and in the Senate and in the judiciary, are you telling me that they don't know what is good for their people? That is why they allow Katrina Lang to come and instruct to the police to ensure that he kills as many Biafras as possible. Uh, they started with AK-47. If you see anybody with AK-47, okay, like that, that that young man from Uguta, you see how they killed him. After killing him, they put AK-47 AK on him. That's to show what? Uh, what is he doing with AK-47? Okay, if he has if he has AK-47, he will come and display it. Uh, who was he shooting? Who was he attacking? Where, where did you shoot him? What location? What was he doing? The cowardly killed him and then placed the AK-47 on, on his body. Uh, there are cheap uh, tricks, cheap uh, evidence you put and uh, each time you do it, uh, the, you just don't add up. You just don't add up. This is the way they are killing people. This is the way they are killing people. They kill you just to ensure that you don't have any trace. Uh, they, they want to uh, 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 just to accuse you uh, of an offense uh, you, you did not commit. The killings are enough. We've had enough of these killings. And it is time we start mending fences, mend our fences, and stop these uh, Plucking and killing. You pluck people from their homes, you kill them. And you are there talking about one Nigeria. Um, there are things I, I want to say, but I'm not going to say them because we don't have time. We don't have time to, to say those things. And that's why tomorrow um, I will uh, bring, bring some of these topics up and we look at them. 
they are they are genuine topics and all of you should uh, understand my position on these Igbo organizations especially those in diaspora and at home because at home they have the same um, clubs and then you have them abroad of what use are you to the coming of Biafra? Of what use are you? Of what use is your organization? Whatever you call it, you call it. Whatever name you attach to it, what is the purpose? We have an issue at hand. What is your organization doing? What is your social club doing to ensure that Biafra is here? And that's why I asked you a question. If your organization is so big, what is your mission with regard to coming of Biafra? If your organization is a Ibuku, what is your mission? It's a fact that you have uh, organizations uh, in diaspora. What are they doing towards the attainment of our freedom? And when you don't have it, when you're not contributing, when you're not helping, your organization is useless. Because when you don't uh, see the coming of uh, uh, Biafra, then um, you will just be existing in name. You have your your club in um, Manhattan. You have your club in um, Dallas, Texas. To us, what? Now you see. Uh, are you going to compete with the Fulanese in your own village? Never, because they have your village. They have your village in their hands. All these people they are attacking in your villages. And you are running, but you have your Ibuku, Ibuku community, Ibuku development, Ibuku, Ibuku progressive. You have all those, but your village doesn't exist. You are running. Of what use is that your organization? And that's why I say you people should keep it aside. Unite. Unite. And see to the coming of Biafra. It will be a very shameful event for Biafra to come without your organization being a part of it. Uh, you can say you are, uh, like some of you, you inform them, they say we don't, we don't want this uh, Biafra thing here. I don't know where you want it. I don't know which one comes first. The existence of you or the existence of your club. Which one comes first? Misplaced priority. Misplaced priority. See all those that are killing you. See all those that are chasing you around. They all know their purpose. It is you that don't know. That you feel you are in a house. But, um, when you step outside, then you realize you are a free game. You are a free game. Yeah, you look at all those uh, Fulanis um, telling you what to do. And to be a slave without knowing that you're a slave is a disease as well. We don't have much to tell you, and, uh, but we've told you enough. All those in Bende, Ibere, Uzakole, name it, watch out. Katrina Lang came to urge you Kalu to facilitate ransacking of your homes looking for weapons and then burning your homes. It 
is going to happen. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. And um, this is where we'll be ending today's broadcast. Uh, I thank all of you that um, uh, participated, uh, our Ungwa brothers and sisters. Uh, we thank you. And this program will continue to future. We will draw attention of our people to that. And as I say, um, I would say thanks to all of you for listening not just listening, make use of what you had, put it into practice, and all will be well with us. Our existence is important. Don't tell me somebody is deceiving you. You have the uh, common sense with us. Our existence is important. Don't tell me somebody is deceiving you. You have the uh, common sense.